Take two. Um, hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, so I wanted to talk about this shelf today. Um, since the last trip, I'm using it. There is some wobble quite a bit side to side. Um, movement, and it was the shelf. Now the whole box is moving. I can't take credit for the work that was done to um, change this. I gotta give credit to my dad because he's actually the one that did it. Not that I couldn't have, but <clears throat> anyways, I don't know how well my hand, the bracket right here, there's some indents in the shelf. We also notched this out a little bit deeper back here. He notched it out a little bit deeper back here so that the shelf goes up and it's actually sitting a lot flatter. There's talk about me drilling a hole for the hose for the uh, propane. But um, I'm not 100% decided yet if I'm gonna do that. Um, I wanna, before I run the hose, even if I drill a hole, of course, sure, as soon as I start a video, then there's always noise. I figured it might be better and easier to do it today because the street not supposed to be driving on it still, but that's a whole nother video. Um, the shelf, a thought that I have is that if I have barbecue going and the stove, that it may end up um, getting too hot and then melting the hose. We don't want that. Nobody wants that. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. I'm not sure if I'm going to run a hose or not. <clears throat> I got to take my um, te temperature reading and find out how hot it gets back there. But uh, it's definitely, I don't even have the leg in the center um, hooked up to it yet. And um, it uh, it's a lot solider. I mean, that right there is moving the whole box of the trailer, both sideboards. Um, both of them are moving because of, and this should be in camera view, these boards that go side to side to help it from coming out like that. And I do have this strap. But I take and it actually goes to the other side of the trailer, to the bottom underneath the sideboard, so that it's not the sideboard, because if it's attached to the sideboard, the whole box is gonna go like this. So I have it mounted down to the frame down there. If I remember towards the end of the video, I will show that to you, but I don't wanna move the camera, then have to worry about getting it set back up just right. Um, but, it definitely was uh, strong enough to support cast iron, barbecue, a uh, cast iron pots and pans, barbecue and a two burner stove, and have a little bit of a prep area. So I like it. Um, however, I possibly may change the uh, repaint over the white paint and do a different color. But I figured having at least a coat of paint on it would be better than um, nothing. Uh, so, I guess I'm going to cut this video a little short simply because I don't know if my voice is being covered up or not by um, other stuff running. And uh, it is what it is, right? Um, I can't control what other people do. Can anybody control what anybody else does? Um, I don't want to ever be considered a tyrant, so it's just not in my cards. Let me um, take the phone off the mount and show you where that other strap is hooked up to. Excuse me, the other end of the strap. Right down there. Um, on the frame and there's a tarp in the way and it's kind of a mess but 
I just take the hook and I tighten it up. It doesn't even need a lot of pressure. And that way it will hold, because the first time I used the shelf without anything there, I realized that it was putting pressure on the box on that sideboard and it was moving. And even with the um, these cross rails up here, it was moving the whole thing. So that's when I decided that I needed to put it somewhere on the frame. And it does a really good job of holding it tight. I've thought about putting like an eye loop over there or something, but my thought and reason for not putting an eye loop is simply because um, what happens if I'm packing stuff in here and stuff, that eye loop may be in the way. So that's why I haven't done that. Um, and that strap just stays in here all the time, whether it's, you know, trailers loaded or empty or has anything in it. All right, folks, have a great day.